to the lake, a larger herd is peacefully grazing. Here the grass is higher, which affords the lion better protection from being seen. Working as a team, the pride takes up position along the edge of the buffalo herd and move in. Surprised, the herd bolts, then just as quickly, whirl around to face their attackers and counterattack. The buffalo chase after the lions, who are now fleeing for their lives. Convinced that the danger is over, the buffalo move back to the marshy ground at Lakeside. The lions, too, return to a less dangerous task. The lioness and her two yearlings, who have taken up sanctuary in a tree, also rejoin the pride. hungry and on the prowl, move, cubs and all, to a better location for hunting within their territory. The dry season is well advanced, and the lake has lost nearly all of its water. Crossing the dry lake, the female carries one of her cubs, while two others try to keep up. Somehow the pride passes too close to a herd of buffalo who try to trample the lions. In a valiant effort to protect the cubs, the lioness dashes at the buffalo and then runs back to her cubs, trying desperately to guide them to safety. Over and over she rushes at the great beasts, but the buffalo will not scatter and continue to charge the lioness and other members of the pride. Dawn finds the savanna calm with no signs of raging buffalo. The pride has sought the shelter of a secluded spot 